Hi everybody, thanks for coming back again. In this lesson, we're going to paint this lovely little colourful Australian bush scene. So grab your paints and your canvas and we'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. Morning everybody, it's a beautiful winter's morning or almost winter's morning here in Australia. Lovely sunny day and the temperature is nice and frosty. First thing I'm going to do is put in a, bit, a little bit of sky up the top there. So I'm just going to use this fairly wide flat brush to do that. You've got lots of white, a little bit of ultramarine blue. Just mix them together on the canvas. And use a crisscrossing brush stroke to work that blue in across the top of the canvas. And that's going to be our sky. I just need to get a few drops of quinacridone magenta onto the brush. Right on the very ends there. And we'll just put a little bit of that in at the bottom of the sky. Blend that up, just gives a nice slightly purple hue to the sky. Just wipe the excess paint off your brush. Pick up a little bit more ultramarine blue on the very ends of the bristles and then we're going to paint that into the corners. Bring it down using that crisscrossing brush stroke. Do the same on the other side. And you need a really small amount of paint. But that sky has ended up a little bit darker than what I wanted it. So I'm going to just add some more white into that area there. Next thing we're going to put in is the distant hills. Take a fair amount of white on the brush. Mix it with some ultramarine blue. So we want a colour that's just slightly darker than the sky. Okay, and we're just going to bring in gently rolling hills. And then we'll have another one just gently coming down this way. They're going to be our background mountains. Just very faint off in the distance. Rinse the brush and give it a dry. Just going to let that paint dry for a minute. Okay, so I end up using the hair dryer to dry that off a bit. And it's a bit cool here today. The paint's not drying as fast as it normally does. That sky's the wrong colour, so I'm going to go over that again. Paint the whole thing white. Pick up a little bit of blue on the brush. Paint it into the corners and bring it down a little bit using the crisscross stroke. That's better. And we'll just pick up a tiny little speck of alizarin crimson and work that into the bottom of the sky. Just a bit of water on the brush. You know, like a slightly pink glow down in the lower part of the sky. Okay, that's looking better. Right, so now I'm going to redo those hills. A blue that's slightly darker than the sky colour. Nice gentle slopes. Bring it up there. A little bit of white on the brush and make that one slightly lighter so it pushes it further back into the scene. So that's a very distant hill and why not just put one there I suppose. Put some more blue. Oh, it's too dark. Some white in there. Get it too dark too soon, then you've got nowhere to go once you get to this front. And we're going to put another hill in front of this one, making a purple out of the ultramarine blue and the magenta. And I'm going to put a speck of uh, burnt sienna in that. This is our foreground hill. on the bottom and just clean your brush off down there. Okay, you rinse your brush. The focal point of this painting is going to be a gum tree, just a single gum tree and it's going to come in from the bottom of the bottom left hand side and up and out into the picture. So what I'm going to do now is make a green a bluey green and I want to put a few little distant trees in those hills back there. So I'm using ultramarine blue, touch of yellow ochre and white. So it's got to be a blue, a bluey green colour. Yep, that's fine. I'm just going to dab in a few little trees. Don't want them too big and don't want too many of them. Just a few. Just right back in here, just touch in a couple. And make the colour a little bit darker, so add a bit more of the blue. 
bit more of the yellow ochre. We still want a distant green colour. We want it slightly darker than the colour that we used on those trees. And I'm just going to run some trees down that ridge. So just tapping in. So you don't have to completely cover it in trees, just a few. Add a bit more yellow into that mix and a bit more green so we're getting brighter and warmer as we come towards the foreground. And these trees are much more distinct, much brighter. Still only really off in the distance. You won't see a lot of this anyway. Using the round brush to do this, it creates that umbrella shape that you see on Australian gum trees. Wipe off the excess paint down there. Alright, so now come back later on when all that's dry and we'll put some tree trunks and branches in there. Make our next layer. I'm thinking it might be like red soil and that sort of thing. So I'm going to switch over to this angle brush. And I'm going to make a mixture with yellow ochre and burnt sienna. A little touch of magenta. And I've got all those colours on my brush, but I haven't mixed them together. And I'm also going to pick up some white, so that's what my brush looks like. I'm going to run that right across here, bring it down. I'm going to add some yellow ochre to my brush and a little bit of white. Do another layer there. Just put it on and leave it. Don't mix it. Brush and brush and brush until you lose all your streaks of colour. I don't want that. I want it to look streaky. So I'm going to take a little round brush and just twiddle in some tree trunks and branches up the back there. So it's only a small brush, size zero. I want it to be white with a little bit of ultramarine in it. Just in the background here, just in a few places. I'm going to put in some tree trunks just here. Don't need to do a lot of this. So one or two. And we're going to do the same down here. So don't have them all evenly spaced. You want some short ones, some longer ones, some are thicker. Make sure they all lean into the painting and none lean out. We don't want them leaning out of the painting. Just going to strengthen that tree line there. Put a little bit extra tree tree tops up in there. We need that to dry, this foreground area here. So while that's drying, I'm going to put something in here. So we we'll take some magenta and burnt, uh, yellow ochre, sorry. So we want this to be really vibrant, this colour. So I've got the three colours on my brush again. And we're just going to pop that in. Oh, that's nice. Reminds me of um, what the soil was like up in the bush out around uh, Gove and Mount Isa, similar colour. Very distinct colours our bush. Bush soils and rocks and what have you. I just need to fill in that corner. Let's blend it up a little bit. Just so you don't have that distinct line. Alright, now let that dry. That's dry now, so we can crack on with what we're going to do next. I'm thinking a couple of little trees in that background area there and that'll balance this big tree that's here. Um, might put a few dark shapes in there to represent some rocks. To make some rocks I'm going to use some ultramarine blue and some burnt sienna and a fairly dark brown colour. Just so you can see something there. Dab it, man. Don't make patterns. We need something to draw our eye back to this area here. So I'm going to put something light and bright up there. I'm take yellow ochre and a bit of white and run a line in there. Clean that off down on the bottom here. And let's put those trees in. Looking at making a balanced composition, your focal point needs to be not in the middle, not the top, not the bottom, around about a third of the way into the painting. And these little trees that I'm going to put in here, in this area, will help balance that. And we might even put some bushes or a fallen branch or something down the bottom there. Get a really small round brush. Got that one. Pick up white burnt sienna. Two colours on the brush together, not combined. Hold the brush at the end. Pop it down on the canvas. We want the white inside by holding our brush with the brown facing out and the white on the other side. It's automatically going to do that for us. Twiddle it up. 
don't want it too big wipe the brush off reload it again it's going to come up here like that gently holding that brush i'm changing to that little brush again and this time I'm going to use white and brown sienna again so we're going to put it on pull it up and off the branches on that other tree put it down pull up and off don't forget to cross some of your branches over you can leave them as dead trees if you like or you can put in some foliage on them some leaves they need a little bit of a shadow so our light source is coming from that direction going to put some more yellow on the brush just right on the very end going to put a highlight down the side of the branches uh, gum trees are always darker at the base got some of that dark brown color that you had before paint up the trunk a little bit and in the forks it's always dark in the forks i'm actually thinking i might just put a couple of leaves in there i'm going to use this brush a number six a round brush and some more blue on my palette dampen the bristle wipe the excess water out of your brush make a blue a green out of ultramarine blue a little bit of viridian and some yellow ochre so i'm just going to dab on some leaves that'll do for those ones rinse off that brush dry the excess water out of it and pick up a little bit of yellow ochre on the end of the tip on the end of the bristles and we're going to put a highlight on some of these branch uh, these leaves just a few just on the ones that where the sun would be shining now i'm going to put in a few grasses in the background and i'm going to use a fan brush to do that and i'm not going to dampen the brush at all for this i'm going to use burnt sienna and the green that i used to make make these brand these leaves here because they're in the background they look they're not very long so put some around the bottom of those trees the further forward they are the taller they're going to be there'd be some grass growing around the rocks and you can use the grass to indicate little ridges in that ground little bumps and little undulations and we need something in front of these trees here that looks like it just ends too abruptly so i don't like that so i'm going to make fairly dark green out of blue yellow ochre i'm going to put a bit of magenta into that a couple over the edge there didn't mean to do that i've got blue down here on this bright area so i'm just going to put that back in again okay so let's do the big tree in the foreground now i'm going to use a palette knife to put the, the trunk in mainly white to begin with and then i'm going to put other colors in there the tree trunk is going to start about there and come down down like that so put that on the canvas and pull down using more pressure as you get towards the bottom I'm going to pick up a little bit of green a little bit of blue a little bit of brown so magenta a little bit of yellow ochre I'm going to dab those colors down the trunk these are all the colors that you would see in an Australian gum tree and I'm going to use that round brush and blend them all in a little bit not too much carry that on out of the picture I want to lose all those colors don't keep going over it till there's nothing left so the light source is coming from the left so we need to make a, a light highlight down the outside of that tree I'm going to be adventurous and use this fan brush I think the white on the end of the bristles just run it down the edge I need to make the bottom of the trunk dark make a dark brown and I'm still using the fan brush and I'm just going to paint that in there I'll leave that area alone for a little bit and we're going to put some other branches on this tree i'm going to take white and burnt sienna i'm not mixing it in just leaving it like that and we're going to take one branch here be a big one and pull up and bring it over a bit sticking it out at the trunk and make it darker put in another branch so white on one side brown on the other and the white onto the left hand side where the light source is coming from and twiddle up another branch and make it dark in the fork there get some more white on one side burnt sienna on the other 
and we're going to make a branch coming off here. So we're doing the same thing, we're holding the brush at the end. It's very light, just hold it between your thumb and your finger. You can steady it with one of the other fingers. If you want a light touch, I'm going to pull the, pull the brush up and just let the brush do its magic. So twiddling it around so we get an uneven shape. I'm going to put that brown down. Oh, I've got a bit of white there. I have to darken that up, so I'll come back to that after it's dried. And we want a couple of smaller branches and some that are going to crisscross. So brown and white on the brush again, not mixed in. And this one we'll bring from here. Bring it up and cross it over. Call it out there. Darken that fork up. Okay, so we need just a couple more branches, but not too many. So we're going to put burnt sienna and white on the brush again. This needs some more branches coming off it, some twiddly ones. Need a bit more white on that brush then. It's all right, we can go back in and put a highlight on it. And another one here. And I'm just going to put one coming off here. And it might have a couple bits coming off it. I need to get some more colours into that trunk. I'm just going to make that dark brown again with burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. No white, just those two colours. Put some of that dark colour on the outside of the darker side of this main trunk. And carry that down. Pick up some burnt sienna. Run it up that trunk down to the bottom. Now with that smaller brush, the smaller round one, I'm going to put a couple of highlights onto those branches. So then at the base of the tree it's going to be darker. This ground is going to be darker because there's a shadow from the tree there. So make a dark colour. Doesn't matter what colours you use to make it. A bit of everything. Oh, brown, that's a bit too red. Some grass. I haven't reloaded the brush, I'm just pushing up that colour that I used to make that dark foreground. I'm going to put some grasses down there. So these ones are going to be a bit brighter. So we want some cad yellow, a bit of ultramarine blue, and a little bit of burnt sienna in the brush. Some down the front here. And they're going to be longer, don't forget, because they're closer to us. Let that dry and then put in the foliage in this big tree, darken that trunk up and add a few more highlight colours in there. Everything's dry now and I just want to fix that area up. I'm going to put some green in there, some ultramarine blue and a bit of yellow ochre. Dab dab some in there. The sun is probably heating on there. Might be a bit of sunlight on that there. That area, perhaps there. And up in that first bit that we put in, the trees in the background there, we're just going to Put a little bit of a highlight on there. Just using yellow ochre and a little bit of white and the bit of green that was still left in my brush. And just right on the very tops, just a few little touches. I'm gonna even put some land here. Uh, just here. Probably gonna cover that up though. What do we do with the leaves? The foliage. So I'm gonna put two colours on the brush again. We're using this brush one and a half inch flat. It's got a little bit of water in from when I used it before. I'm just going to dry that. So we want to make a very dark colour. So going to put all our darks in together. Blue, the magenta and the viridian. Mix it all in together. Put in some burnt sienna as well. So what we're going to do is load the brush with the dark colour on one side and the light colour on the other. And we're going to squish, squish the leaves on. So we're pushing the brush down like that. We're using cadmium yellow on the other side of it. What will happen is the um, two colours, the yellow will mix with the, the blue and make green for the leaves. I'm just going to try a bit here. Just wanted to make sure I had the brush up the right way. Run the brush out of paint. Okay, so that looks okay. I think it needs just a few yellow highlights here and there. A little bit dark in some places, pop some in there. 
this is just cadmium yellow straight onto the onto the brush didn't clean it I'm gonna add some more blue to that color and pick up that original dark color that we had and just pop some foliage in here down the bottom in the corners keep them nice and dark so we're nearly done still a fair bit of paint on that brush I'm just going to use it to um, put some more grasses in just a few just to get rid of the paint out of the brush Let's push up the brush and the only thing to do now is uh, a few more highlights on the trunk and to do that I'm going to use my angle brush and I'm going to pick up white burnt sienna bit of yellow ochre I'm just going to run that down the trunk it's a little unevenly put a little bit over there wipe the excess paint off on your canvas it's going to make it a little bit of an orangey color with some magenta and some burnt sienna and a bit of yellow as I don't like the way that looks now just want to put some more earthy colouring back in there, there's too much white in that just here and there put a little bit on the tree go down the outside of that trunk with the dark colour again so I'm just using what's on my palette it's got a bit of green and blue in it and pick up a bit of burnt sienna ultramarine blue I'm going to make a dark brown and just do the bottom of that trunk again got a bit of light down there alright let's have a look and see where you think you need to put more highlights in just here I must have touched the brush onto the canvas so I'm just going to fix that up like a rock there now and I'm going to put in a little bit of a shadow at the bottom there down here reinforce the shadows under the tree there a bit more take them off the edge of the page and I'm just going to take some white on that little brush again the little round brush just pure white and just run it down some branches in a few places And a few more grasses in the foreground and I think that'll be just about finished. So we've got that fan brush again and we're going to take some uh, yellow ochre, white, a bit of burnt sienna, put it all into the, the brush. Got dark on one side, light on the other and we're going to just pop some grasses in, in various places. Just a few here. In the foreground put the brush on the canvas and push up and just under this tree I might put a few little wild flowers a pinky sort of very pale pinky color I think actually I'll put a bit of um put a bit of ultramarine blue in there and make it a, like a lavender type of color and just dot some flowers in there pop a couple in here and out there off in the distance and last but not least I want to put in a couple of birds just here I'm just going to take that dark brown that I made out of uh, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue and we we're just going to put one in like that another in here and then one off in the distance and yeah, sign it pretty good didn't take very long to do to be able to come up with a nice little painting like that hope you enjoyed doing that one and i hope to see you back again for my next video if you've liked what you've seen on my channel can you please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment or a thumbs up that really helps me grow the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.